Hi everybody, this is Matthew Kenslow. It is 7 minutes to 8 a.m. on the 25th of August, 2020, and it's the first day of school, virtually. I'm officially a senior, a university senior, and this is my penultimate semester before getting a bachelor's in biochemistry and my pre antipenultimate semester at Vanguard University according to the plan. And I usually make these videos, but it's going to be quite an unprecedented one. It's going to be all online. I have my virtual, well, I have my desk and, and Zoom internet connection, uh, notepad and everything. So all ready for this, the semester. My first class is microbiology and it's going to start at 8 a.m. I'm very excited to find out, you know, this week how each of my classes are exactly going to run and I just can't wait for that, you know, the closure where I know exactly how it's going to be. Um, I Everything else is on Canvas. I've been getting emails and I'm uh, very optimistic. Hopefully as the semester progresses we can finally get back together face to face. That's what I'd say. I mean, safety first, but I mean, I'm just saying Toward the, left, uh, toward the rest of the semester. Um, you know, of all the semesters, spring, summer, fall, fall is my most favorite semester of them all. And, you know, it's a little disconcerting to start out like this, but hopefully as, again, as the semester progresses, we'll, we'll um, get back in person. I know that one of my labs is in person, um, just not that many people could show up at one time. Uh, but we'll see how this semester plays out. Other than that, I'm, I'm excited. Um, on to my first class, microbiology, 8 a.m. Well, I just completed my first class in microbiology. Again, working um, or going to class here virtually at home, um, there's a lot of hindrances. You could hear a very loud garbage truck, and it's Tuesday, and it's like one of three that come over here. Uh, that's kind of why I like, um, you know, being in, that's partly why I like being, um, going to class in person or so. I mean, a lot more than just that, but, you know, the first class went well. Uh, we just, you know, went over the, the basics, what's expected, what the projects are going to be. There's, you know, for microbiology, a big uh, pathogen project. So besides, uh, you know, loud television or, or something from, from neighbors, that I could hear through the walls and the cars and the trucks outside uh, hindering. If you take all that aside, uh, it's it's doable. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it everything's already doable. But um, I'm excited for for the semester. What I'll I'll be learning and and now I have about almost three hours till my next class. And now I'm entering my next class, analytical chemistry. So my next class is analytical chemistry, already set up here at home, virtually. So um, again, going to be an interesting uh, semester. Hopefully it's short-lived and we'll get to go face-to-face -face, uh, when everything turns to normal, hopefully very, very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, now I'm approaching analytical chemistry. My friend over in, in uh, Brea, or well, Fullerton, Brea area, uh, had to take analytical chemistry in order for her to be a med tech um, several decades ago and, and she tells stories uh, like that's her number one fear and she still has uh, nightmares to this day I mean if it wasn't for one of her classes which I believe was a foreign exchange student if it wasn't for one of her classmates then she would have probably failed analytical chemistry would never have been a med tech in Hong Kong but you know I was always you know excited for analytical chemistry because it just sounds like it's, you know, mathematical and, and quantitative and, and such. And then my organic and physical chemistry professor the past couple of semesters sort of solidified that when he told me in his office that, you know, organic chemistry is, is like, you know, you have to have like this many mils of DCM and that many mils of this solvent and such. And, and if it's about that, then ah, that's good enough. But analytical chemistry is where you have to get it right on the dot. And you know what? That's me. When I was taking uh, general chemistry, I mean that, and frankly, any time that I took a lab, when it said I, I needed to have like precisely this much mass of some solid or this many mils of, uh, of this, or even micro uh, milliliters um, of, of this solvent, I mean, I was, you know, precise, extremely precise and such, even if it was organic chemistry. 
Um, but well, I mean, for the most part, I was precise. I, I like that. I like you know being very precise and doing all these long-winded calculations. I mean, that's me. That's why I like general chemistry and probably analytical chemistry more than something like organic chemistry, where there's no numbers. <laughs> But when it's physical chemistry, that's that's a whole new ball game. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm about to approach analytical chemistry in probably like five minutes, and so we'll see how this semester goes. Um, what I'll learn in in analyt analytical chemistry and in the lab and such. And, and again, I'm optimistic and can't wait to really find out what what this um, what this class entails. I'm very excited. And that's it, I'm done with my first lecture. Well, it was more like um, the administrative part, you know, the paperwork part, uh, the syllabus part and everything. And just going through how this class is going to run and I was sort of more accurate. It was, it is going to be a lot about general chemistry, but the nitty gritty, tiny little details and such, Al along with more things, I'm sure. So now I have to wait till Thursday for biochemistry which is my final class that I have, which is at 10.30 in the morning. I have all three syllabi here, and I'm very optimistic. And then the labs, I have labs for all three of the science classes. And from what I was just told and what I heard you know, recently is that the labs are going to be starting the week of September 14th, I believe. And they're really um, employing social distancing and, and stuff and, and such, making sure that everybody's spaced out. And if the lab is large, they might uh, create two sections. I mean, we've been getting emails like anybody willing to take this section and all that. So they're very, um, you know, they're very flexible uh, with with that, and they're working. Uh, Vanguard and I'm sure everywhere they're working very hard to to accommodate everybody so I'm uh, very happy about that and uh, can't wait till Thursday. Now it's August 27th 2020 and I uh, finished uh, my second class for microbiology and now in a couple of minutes I'm about to go into my first virtual class for biochemistry which is in fact my major so it should be exciting. And just like that uh, the week one is completed as far as getting an introduction to my three classes go. Um, I believe I have analytical chemistry lecture 2 uh, here shortly and at 1 p.m. I just have a little Zoom meeting to talk about the biochemistry lab and then after you know, a week or so we're going to talk about the lab for analytical chemistry and microbiology. I've heard that you know some of the lab equipment is going to come here and, and all the stuff to do the experiments here at home and then just report back. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, the, so overall, the environment is, is um, well, I, I wish I was, you know, in person, like I'm sure most people are. Um, here today, um, you know, Tuesdays is garbage day and Thursdays must be lawnmower day. So, and it's insanely loud. I always dislike the acoustics of, of this room, but, you know, at least it has a good view. So anyway, so uh, week one is, is uh, fairly completed again as, as far as you know introducing myself to new classes go and I'm excited for the next uh, 16 weeks I'm very optimistic and uh, already starting to learn a lot of new things uh, so anyway if you're watching this at any time any year any season uh, then just you know be blessed um, if you're in the beginning or middle or end of the semester I hope that you do well and um, have an excellent day